கொடுக்கப்பட்ட இந்த நாளின் காலை வேலைக்கு நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் இந்த குளிர்ச்சியான வேலையில அப்பா பிதாவும் என்றும் நோக்கி நாங்கள் கூப்பிடுகிறோம் அப்பா இந்த விசேஷ நாளில எங்களுடைய மாணவர்களுக்கு ஆசிரியருக்கு என்று நல்ல ஒரு செசனை ஏற்பாடு பண்ணி கொடுத்த தயவுக்காய் நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் இந்த நாளை ஆசிர்வதித்துக் கொள்ளுங்க வந்திருக்கு விஸ்வாஸ் பேசனுக்காய் நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் இந்த கிருமி நாளை நிரப்பி எங்களுக்கு தேவையான காரியங்களை கற்றுக் கொடுக்க நீர் திருப்பி தரும் கேட்கிற நாங்களும் அண்டவே முக்கரணத்துவத்தோடு கேட்டு அதை எங்கள் வாழ்க்கையிலே பயன்படுத்திக் கொள்ள நீர் திருப்பி தர வேண்டுமா செபிக்கிறோம் இந்த ப்ரோக்ராம் ஆர்கனைஸ் பண்ண ஆர்கனைசர்ஸ்க்காக பிரசிடென்ட்டுக்காக மற்ற எல்லாருக்காக நன்றி செலுத்தி செபிக்கிறோம் ஒவ்வொருவரையும் நீங்கள் பேர் பேராக தனித்தனியாக நீங்கள் ஆசீர்வதிங்க இந்த மீட்டிங் சுவக்கும் முதல் முடிவுரை மது ஆகிய குறிப்பிட்டுக் கொடுக்கிறோம் நீங்கள் பொறுப்படுத்திக் கொள்ளுங்க தகப்படை உங்கள் பிரசனம் எங்களோடு கூட இருக்கட்டும் வழி நடத்தும் பலப்படுத்தும் தூதி கன மயமையெல்லாம் உமக்கே செலுத்துகிறோம் பிரச்சனை இயேசு கிறிஸ்து மூலம் செபிக்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே ஆமே Uh, thank you all for coming today we uh, unleashing creativity and uh, innovation uh, we all know what is thinking right but for innovation just thinking is not enough it's something that is called as uh, design thinking so i'm going to be talking to you uh, today about that and how it is useful in uh, innovation so these are the topics that i will be covering today that is uh introduction to design thinking how it differs from uh, tra traditional thinking uh, six stages of design thinking some of the stuff stories that have come up by using design thinking and i have a small activity and then conclusion so this is my personal background as already uh, read out by uh, dr danraj uh, so i am an engineer a turn entrepreneur and i am the co-founder and operations director at yarsa creations and uh, apart from that i am also a life coach mindset coach uh, a public speaker on consciousness and gratitude and i am the innovation ambassador of this institution so uh, this is something brief about our company and uh, yarsa creations stands for imagination and creation so our mission is sustainable construction digitally reimagined and our goal and our vision is a grateful living and who we are is we are the professionals driving the architecture engineering constructions and operations industry towards digital transformation and uh, sustainable development and uh, what we do is we embrace uh, technological advances and we deliver services and uh, we uh, by delivering the serv digital services we provide value to our customers so as i already told uh, today i'll be talking about uh, design thinking so any of you have got any idea about what design thinking is it's not just to create new ideas even if you have to go out of the room you have to think right so we have to think we function by thinking so even if you want to be an, an innovator or an entrepreneur the main part is to think but then how do we think differently that is design thinking okay so uh, there's a definition for design thinking and the definition goes like this design thinking is a human centered approach to innovation that draws from the designer's toolkit to integrate the needs of people the possibilities of technology come up with a product that is of utmost need to the human, to the common users whereas you use technology and it is innovative as well that is design thinking design thinking and coming up with a project is not something what nobody needs but then it is something which is of at most need and you are coming up with it okay so this is the difference between traditional thinking and uh, design thinking can any of you tell me the difference between uh, what do you find from here how is it different it's very easy we are all engineering students right we have learned this in school anybody okay so here in traditional thinking what have what we have been taught focus for is nine yeah eight so that is the traditional thinking do you have to think for it yeah, we have to think for it but not uh, innovative just the basic thinking we have been taught to count the finger So we need to count our fingers or just think. So focus for eight. Okay, that's the answer. But here in design thinking, 
you want the answer as a okay so what are all the pos uh, possible probabilities of getting the answer a so these are all the probabilities what is that 4 plus 4 is equal to 3 2 plus 6 4 plus 8 6 minus 2 12 minus 4 that's n number of possibilities to come up with the answer a right so that is basically design thinking you want something to implement to the society and what are all the methods that you can do to come up with that innovation is called as design thinking. Whereas in traditional thinking, you don't think of anything. You just think, okay, fine, I want to construct this building and constructing it. But then in design thinking, you think, okay, fine, I want this kind of building. What all can be implemented to get this building? So that's the difference. The various ways of thinking to come up with an output is design thinking, whereas traditional thinking is thinking in a straightforward manner where there's no innovation or anything. It's just the bookish knowledge. So you come up with the output, okay? So actually, uh, traditionally there are just five stages of design thinking, but since I'm talking about innovation, we can't stick to, stick to tradition, right? So we have to be innovative enough in this also. So now, there are six stages in design thinking. So what are the six stages? Okay, can anyone read it out for me? This is a loop, so you have to go according to the loop. It's an infinite. So what comes first? Okay, I'll start with first. Empathize is the first. What comes second? Do you do the loop that way? Define, right. Next. How do you go from define to implement? Idea, yeah. Next. No, next is prototype. Test, implement. Okay. So, does it get over by implement? Uh, again, it comes. It's a loop. It's an infinity loop. So, again, what you do is empathize, define, ideate, prototype, test. So, it's a never ending process. You are not stopping your innovation there, but it's a never ending process. It continues and continues for all. So, you have to be forever. Empathizing forever, defining forever, ideating forever, implementing forever, prototyping, testing, and all that. Okay? So that is the six stages of design thinking. Okay? So these are the design thinking principles. So in design thinking, the main, the first part is to always keep the user in focus. So who is the user here? People. No, you are not the user. You are the one who is... Uh, innovating it, you are finding it, right? You don't have to be in mind. You have the one who has to be in the mind is who will be using it, okay? If you are developing a cell phone, who will be the user? The common people. So they have to be in your mind. So they keep the user in focus. Next is see the problems as opportunities. So what can be the problems? So every day we come across so many things, right? So many problems. So Take those problems as opportunities. Don't just see them as problems and move on, but rather take the problems as opportunities, come up with an idea and innovate and do the design thinking and implement it. Okay? The next is show, don't tell. What does that mean? Yeah, if you know that there's a mistake somewhere, don't just tell that this has to be improved. Do it. What improvement has to be done, right? It's not just a, a, a mouth, mouth word. So you have to implement it. Next is bias towards action. So don't just stick on to theory. Lean towards action. Lean towards action and think what you can do to uh, solve the problem. The next is embrace experimentation. Always look forward to experimenting. Okay, fine. Why are you all here today? Okay, who wants to get into business after you finish your engineering? How many of you want to get into business after you finish your engineering? Okay, okay. out of all the who raised your hands and wanted to get into business, how many of you want to uh, build a startup? Okay, yeah, I can see hands. So you all want to I want to start, start a business, okay. So what is the first thing that people around us come and tell us? 
Problems. Sorry? Problems. Yes, problems. Mistakes. Mistakes, ma'am. Yeah, mistakes and problems are the same. Like why yeah. exactly we are doing that business, ma'am? Yeah, why exactly? Huh? Why should we do that business? Actually, this answer is firstly right. Loss. Right? So they come up with the topic of loss. Why? Because there are some people who have started the business and ended up in loss. Why did they end up in loss? Can you tell me? See, this is a business session. So you got to be very interactive. Then only it will be interesting. I'm not going to take you class. This is an interactive session. Okay? So, yeah. Loss is a factor. They come up with, uh, they tell us that you might end up in loss. Loss is why? Because they wouldn't have taken a good decision. So why? Because they didn't. They don't know what was the need. They didn't interact with anybody. They just thought from their point of view and they started the business. So that is where design thinking is different. Because we are starting off with empathy. <coughs> empathy is what is the current need? What is the need of this particular generation? What is the need of the people around me? So you are taking that into mind and if you come up with a solution for that, do you think it will be a loss? No, definitely you are going to meet the problem. You are going to take away the problem. So it is going to be an innovation. So that is the first step. That is empathy. So these are the uh, steps in empathy. That is consolidate what you do and you don't know. Okay? Because there will be some things which we know and which we don't know. So we have to be very clear about what we know and we, what we don't know. Next, we have to connect with our user audience. Then, carefully consider the research approaches. How can we come up with the product? How can we come up with the innovation? Next, learn by observing and asking. Whom, whom to observe and ask? User. User as well as other technical experts. Next, develop a shared understanding and empathy. Always you will need to have that understanding with the user. So, this is the empathy. So, what is your goal in empathy is? You have to consider all the three. What is this diagram called? Yeah, okay. So, where does it intersect? In the middle. So, what all has to be considered? What is desirability? Yeah, what is the desire of the? Wanting something. Yeah, one thing. What do the people want? That is desirability. Next, feasibility. Is it possible to do it? Okay. By using of technology. That is feasibility. Next is viability. How can you turn it into a business? So, all these three has to be there. While you are empathizing your problem. What you have to do? Is it needed for the society? The next is, how can I make it feasible by using of technology? And the third is, how can I turn it into a business? Okay, that is empathy. So, this is the definition for empathy. What is the definition? It's our ability to see the world through the people's eyes. To see what they see, feel what they feel, and experience things as they do. This is very much important because you have to, even though you are a great knowledgeable person and you are a very smart person, you have to get let go of all that and step down and think from the point of view of the users who are going to use that, okay? If, a, if someone comes with a smart, develops a smartphone, they cannot think in their smartness, right? They have to think how the users will be using it. They also have to become like a user to develop a smartphone, right? Only then it will be helpful for the people. If you are smart enough and if you are developing everything to your intelligence, do you think it will be useful for the people? Do you think people will understand how to use it? No. Will technology be useful? No. So these are some of the empathizing methods. Okay. What is body scrubbing? Okay, body scrubbing is nothing but thinking is brainstorming. Body scrubbing is you be there. You pick up that. You feel that and you think. That is body scrubbing. You don't keep your innovation somewhere far and think about it. You become one with your innovation and start it from you. If you are a group of people, start it from you. You become one with your innovation. That is body storming. The next is five Y method. Why is okay. 
y is y equivalent y is y equivalent why do you ask why why do you ask question to know better to know more to know more so uh, okay uh, so why are you here why are you here attendance second no idea okay no about that know about something okay so i want to know about innovation and all that so these are the why so if we keep on asking this why 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 in the deep of all the why there will be an answer okay always in the deep there will be an answer on the top there will be an answer so for everything you have to ask why next is journey mapping okay what is journey mapping what is journey mapping like a road map yeah road map in the movie you know we see right detective movies they pin all that the board and they put a thread and all that and they do it right so similarly it put a journey map it's mapping through your ideas as well how do you go and all that then what how and why method so can you explain what is what how and why method what is the problem oh explain how I gave a hint for what? What is the problem? And next is how to how how to, how to solve it exactly. Very good. So next is why is the problem there? Okay, that's good. What is this empathizing method in design thinking? Does it look new to you? Are you able to relate to it? Are you all able to relate to it? What I am coming to say? Yeah, right. So. some good knowledge right so that you have having that knowledge in your mind okay it's not enough when it is just on your mind you have to put it down you have to write it down that is artifacts you are taking all the ideas and then writing it down that is visible research findings into artifacts next is start to tell a story what story kaka varu sutra okay what story then yeah so start the story about the problem okay yeah the knowledge you gained and all that so you start telling a story so this is a problem all i can do is i can do this do that do that so it should be like a story and finish it from end to beginning so there is also a saying that goes like begin with an end in the mind what does that mean begin with an end in the mind you should already like know what's the end point man no? yeah yeah so if you are doing something without knowing what you want to do you will go nowhere always know what you want in life and chase it then you will be very productive if you are not knowing what you are doing and just living a life for the sake of living you you won't reach anywhere okay problem third is so what will be i get creating like what's the how you are preparing the solution man yeah solution not exactly the solution what what idea here is the part where your idea comes into play what can what can i do okay what can i do to solve this so that is ideating okay so if you are into startup and all that there will be these stages uh, because even our government is funding for all the startups so they'll ask you are you in the ideating stage that means you have just got an idea and you want to implement it and you are seeking for Funding from the government. That is ideating stage. The next is scaling up stage. Are you uh, ready to scale up your product and all that? Because after ideating, you will come up with a product and the next scaling up, then act accelerators, then uh, investors and all that. It goes on like that. Okay. Then um, so here in ideating, what is the first? Lead with user needs. Always put the user first. Okay. Don't just do it from your point of view but always start with the users so you can see all these six stages always start with the users what the what do the users need always have that in mind the next is involve multi functional teams what are multi functional teams you all you are all from which uh, departments i think 
3. So you are all multidisciplinary, right? So likewise, involve, get involved with multidisciplinary team. Because if you all are from the same team, you all will think alike, right? You all will think alike. So but then, thinking alike is not needed. You need people who think differently. So what has to be, what has to be done? We need people from multidisciplinary to think differently. The next, lay down the rules. So now you have formed a round table conference and all are there and lay down the rules. What will be the rules here? Will it be dress code? Okay, dress code. Okay, will it be dress code? Will it be 12.30 lunch? 4.30 tea? No, I really appreciate you because you all express what you feel. That's good. Doesn't mean that I know everything about rules on which this institution was established. Likewise, whatever we are going to do, we have to have the ground rules of what we are going to do, how we are going to do. This is a timeline for everything that we are doing. Okay, for this date, we'll take one month. We'll come up with this idea, then we'll do it. That is the ground rules. The next is separate idea generation and evaluation. What is generation and evaluation? Like filtering which one is good and which one is bad. Uh, right. So, can anybody tell an example for uh, this one? Uh, idea generation and evaluation. Okay. Let me say um, uh, what to say. Let us have a green car in our campus. Okay. Battery is like a green vehicle. So, what would be a, a good idea? What What are all the ideas that comes up to you? Okay, that's too tough. Okay, then we come up with the simple one. Okay, we want a candy here. Okay? Okay, come up with the idea. Come on, pass. Pass. First, we not need to know where the canteen has to be, right? Yeah, location needs to be there. How how should the canteen be different from the present canteen? Water should be there and uh, what food items should be there and all that, right? So, if in all these stages, someone comes up and says, canteen should be on the road. Is that what is needed? Canteen has to be here. It doesn't need to be on the road, right? So, all these has to be considered. So, many are coming with different inputs, many ideas, and you are evaluating the ideas, and you are filtering the ideas, and coming up with the final idea. Okay, fine. This is the problem, and this is what we have to do. Next is, think about how to communicate ideas. Now, you have got the ideas, and ideas has to be communicated, right? If I know something, I have to communicate with you. Only then you will understand. Otherwise, will any of you understand what I have in my mind? No. Nobody would be understanding. So, communication is very important here. So, you will have to communicate. This is idea. So, are you all clear with all the three stages? Right? Empathizing, defining and ideating. So, these are the ideation steps. The next is prototype. Have you come across this word prototype? Anybody? Creating a sample product. Yeah, very good. Creating sample. That is prototype. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Next is prototype is how to build representation of potential solutions. That is prototype. sample. Representation. That is sample. So next is C. As I already told, keep the user in mind. Always first should be keep the user in mind. So now if you want to come up with the cell phone, would you... Uh, would you develop it with the weight of a brick? Why? Yeah, so who comes to your mind at that time? User comes to your mind. So always think from the perspective of the user. How will it be beneficial to the user? So always that has to be taught. Okay? The next is plan the scope of testing. How will you test it? So there are various methods to test it, right? How will you be testing it? Next, take action and fail fast. Why is it so? Fail fast. Why does anybody want to fail? Fail is the term we all hate, right? What is that? Take action and fail fast. We can learn from it now. Yeah, you are right. Because you just can't sit and talk for hours and hours without taking action. You can tell. Oh, it can be done in that way. We, we see people coming up with lot of projects and all that, right? We say, see, look at this road, waste. 
Look at that get waste. Everything is waste waste simply we will tell. But then we don't do it. They have at least come up with it and they have failed. And the next time they would do it better. But what about us? We don't even do it but then we just complain it. So what is the best thing is do it. Start action. It's okay if you fail. Don't just sit and think about uh, what is that? Uh, perfection. Actually, uh, perfection is a very good term, but you know what? Perfection also can put you down. How? Expecting perfection. Sorry? No. It would take really long for a perfect product. Yeah, because you will never be satisfied. You will never get satisfied. There will never be a per perfection. It is an on and on process. You will never get to perfection. So start doing it and on the way you can reach your perfection. Don't sit and wait for the perfection to come. But then start doing it but on the process you will get to perfection. Okay? Choose the right tools and squeaky tools. Okay. So if you want to stand Stand. Stand. Yeah. Okay. So these are the things. Okay, now, what is our second step? Second step. Define. Uh, so you have come up, you are you are asking all this from me and you are defining. Defining the problem. Okay, will the stand might be good? I want to be... What are you going to do with it? You should find the investors. Find? Investors. Investors. Okay, I have money, I am bootstrapping it. What will I do? Yeah, introduce to the market. Sit to the home and take a photo and sit. Yeah, develop the mind. Marketing. What is marketing? How about marketing products? Advertise on? Okay. Amazon is a gift card, right? You advertise on everything. Nowadays, personal services is very much important. You can't sit here. All the platform is waiting for you to put your, put your product, showcase your product. So you are uh, personal branding your products and all that. And uh, after you are releasing to the market, what do you do? Why it? You are releasing and you are buying it. Why do you want it? Yeah, if you are a speaker, you can tell that, see, it's my product. And I have developed this product. And you can uh, speak with that device itself whenever you are going to do presentations and all that. Uh, marketing and then gaining reviews, upgrading, yeah, upgrading, getting the reviews and what are all the feedbacks and all that and upgrading. So that's it, very simple. I thank, first of all, the chief guest, Ms. Shirley, for the insightful speech, particularly on uh, design thinking. I hope uh, we can have another session on design thinking for life. Hope uh, we could invite her back for the same topic on a different context. Thank you very much for the profound thoughts and elevated the students to a next higher level where they could be an entrepreneur. Next, I would like to thank our uh, principal, though he is uh, not present here, Dr. P. D. R. Mayrak has always been an additional leader. He has a clear vision for the future of our college and is always working to make it a better place for you and everyone else. And our vice principal, Dr. Joshua Nansinger, is a dedicated educator with a wealth of experience. He's always willing to go to the exam miles to help students and uh, faculty personality. Our academic dean, Dr. Rajesh Khanna, is a brilliant scholar. He's always working to ensure that you're attaining your goals at the best. And the IIC office bearers, Dr. Nandraj, Dr. Raina, Professor Surendra, Professor Silaboli and uh, Professor Lashmi. They're all the great source of inspiration and they make the fragment as a whole for inculcating the right attitude and the culture for you to become a better person tomorrow. And uh, the last but not the least, the budding engineers and the promises of the tomorrow, uh, the lovely student fraternity. So you will make the real difference tomorrow. Thank you all.